When Canon unveiled its full-frame mirrorless camera, the Canon EOS R, it made a big song and dance about the snazzy new RF mount and the brave new world of optical potential it would usher in. We've got this eye on the future. Not the next five years, not the next ten years, but the next thirty years. The EOS R launched with just such a lens, the RF 50mm f1.2L monolith that delivered awesome image quality but also weighed a stonking 950 grams, that's 40% heavier than the camera body itself. This definitely wasn't your daddy's nifty 50. Well, now the second of Canon's System Showcase RF mount lenses is here. It's the RF 85mm f1.2L USM lens. And while it's once again a jaw-dropping optical performer that blows away any 85mm lens that's come before it, somehow it's even more massive than the RF 50mm 1.2. You'd seriously better start doing your shrugs and shoulder rolls because this thing weighs in at a whopping 1,195 grams. That's literally double the weight, and then some, of the EOS R camera itself. This weighs twice as much as this. It's mad! Still, as most blokes will tell you, bigger is supposedly better. So, undaunted, I headed to beautiful Holt in Wiltshire to test out this lens with the equally beautiful model Rogue. We shot a variety of headshots and portraits to see just how well the lens performed and to see if size really is everything. It's been built to be used wide open at f1.2, where sharpness and contrast remain fantastic, and there's no visible chromatic aberration, fringing or distortion. The sharpness does drop off ever so slightly towards the edges, but that's really not a problem in a portrait lens. The RF 85mm uses Canon's shiny new Blue Spectrum Refractive Glass, which eradicates colour aberrations, and it also employs an exotic group aspheric element, as opposed to the usual and much cheaper glass moulded element, to eliminate spherical aberration. The autofocus is lightning quick. If you've ever used the old EF 85mm 1.2, you'll know that it could be a real drag to focus sometimes. But that's really not the case here. The autofocus is fast and snappy, and it works brilliantly with the EOS R's dual pixel AF and face tracking. It works great with the EOS R's IAF too, but when you're working with depth of field as shallow as this, there will be times when you miss critical focus literally by a hair, and end up with sharp eyelashes instead of sharp eyes. Now obviously part of that is down to your own core camera craft. If you've got good steady hands and solid shooting fundamentals then your hit rate is going to be a lot higher. But here's the real issue with the Canon uh, RF 85mm 1.2. The whole thing is completely unbalanced on the EOS R body. Uh, it's one thing to have a gigantic hulking lens like this on a bulky DSLR like a 5D Mark IV or a 1DX Mark II, but on a little svelte mirrorless body like this, the thing is just utterly front heavy. It doesn't help matters that the RF 85mm doesn't have any image stabilisation either, and it's still really bizarre to me that the only RF mount lenses that do have image stabilisation are the 24-105mm kit lens, which is actually a really well-balanced lens, and the teeny-tiny RF 35mm 1.8, which is such a small, almost pancake-like lens that it doesn't really need it. But you've got monsters like the 85mm 1.2, the 50mm 1.2, and the 28-70 f2 that actually are difficult to wield and are so front-heavy and lopsided on this thing, they could actually benefit from IS, and none of them have it. It's a little bit strange. Still, while its ungainliness means that it'll never win a ballet recital, where this lens really comes into its own is in low light shooting. This obviously makes it an ideal optic for weddings and events where you'll be taking pictures indoors in less than ideal lighting conditions. I took it to Rock House in Andover to put it through its paces at a gig where Organic Process, Old Liver and Hattie Snooks were tearing it up on stage. Please do check them out with the links below and try to catch them at a live show because they're bloody brilliant. The RF 85mm is absolutely stunning in low light, where its autofocus is rated at the same minus 6 EV as the RF 50mm before it. It just didn't miss a beat, finding focus both on stage and in some crowd shots. It's a truly stellar performer in low light, with AF just as lightning quick as it is in daylight. If you're somebody who does shoot in challenging lighting conditions, you absolutely need this lens. So what's to love about this lens? The answer is almost everything. The images it produces are well and truly extraordinary. 
Shooting wide open f1.2, the images are razor sharp and the background blur is as soft as a baby's bottom. Optically, it's almost impossible to fault, and if you want the ultimate tool for portraiture, this might very well be it. There are really only two things not to love about the lens. One is the weight, and one is the price. It's just a fact of life that when you want a lens that performs as optically near perfectly as this, you're going to end up with something that's full of lots of heavy, well-engineered glass elements. And when you've got something that's full of heavy, well-engineered glass elements, you're going to have a pretty heavy price tag as well. At £2,800 or $2,700, this lens is priced pretty squarely for professionals, but whichever way you cut it, at the better part of three grand, it's an awful lot to spend on a lens. However, if you're a pro who shoots people for a living, I'd say that's the better part of three grand that's very well spent. Yes, there are cheaper lenses, and yes, there are other lenses that are nearly as good, like the old version of this lens, the EF 85mm f1.2 L. But it just ain't as good as this. As far as I'm concerned, there's no other 85mm lens, and really no other portrait lens I can think of off the top of my head, that does an optical performance that's anywhere near as good as the RF 85mm 1.2. In fact, I think this lens is so good that it single-handedly legitimizes the EOS R system as a professional tool for working photographers. So if you are a professional wedding, portrait or events photographer who's been looking at the EOS R system and thinking about making the move, I'd say that with this lens, it's a move that's finally worth making. The sheer size and scale of the RF 85mm is so at odds with the sleek, svelte frame of the EOS R that there's clearly a bit of a culture clash going on. It's obvious that this lens, along with the RF 50mm 1.2, have been designed with a much beefier, future version of the EOS R in mind. But if you don't mind a bit of imbalance, or a little bit of shoulder strain when shooting for long periods of time, then this is without a doubt the finest portrait lens that Canon has ever produced. Is it worth the better part of three grand? If you want the ultimate portrait lens with sniper-like autofocus, remarkable low-light performance, razor-sharp rendering and background softer and smoother than a shaved peach, the Canon RF 85mm f1.2L is worth every penny.